What's up guys, Jared here, and today we're talking about one of the best anime of the year, Season 2 of My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia asks some serious questions about heroism. Namely, are all of our heroes full of sh**? Welcome to this Wisecrack Quick Take on My Hero Academia Season 2, and of course, spoilers ahead. For those uninitiated, here's a quick recap. My Hero Academia takes place in a world where 80% of people manifest some sort of superpower or quirk, and being a hero has finally become a full-time job. And a glamorous one at that. Middle schooler Midoriya Izuku yearns to be like his idol, the hero All Might, but unfortunately is quirkless. But after demonstrating his selflessness to All Might, Midoriya receives his very own powers from his hero. After a year of training, Midoriya enrolls in the exclusive high school for Will Be Heroes, UA Academy. At the end of Season 1, he and his classmates come face to face with some real bad guys, the League of Villains, led by Shigaraki Tamora, only for All Might to save the day. Now, there are a lot of great moments in Season 2, but where this question of what it means to be a hero really comes to the fore is during the Stain arc. Class President Ida Tenya learns that his brother has been attacked by the hero killer Stain. Stain believes that today's heroes are more concerned with their own image than actually doing good. Determined to get revenge, Ida then interns with the less than prestigious normal hero in order to find Stain, while Midoriya is stuck, well, with this guy. And as Shigaraki unleashes a horde of biologically engineered supervillains on the city, Ida, Midoriya, and fellow classmate Todoroki manage to converge on Stain and capture him. The Stain arc raises the question, what causes our obsession with heroism? According to philosopher Ernest Becker, the desire to be a hero is innate. It's the desire to be the very best at something, and ultimately to be remembered and thereby transcend death. But most of us aren't heroes, we're Jerry's or Cementos at best. Instead, Becker tells us that we redirect this desire into society, or what he calls cultural hero systems. Bummed you're not All Might? That's okay, feel special because Ingenium's younger brother interns at your hero agency. Sad you're not always saving the day? Who cares, you can still feature on a TV talk show panel because of your ridiculous costume. It's this kind of hero worship which Stain opposes, instead believing that heroes must epitomize self-sacrifice. Stain rejects a society that treats heroes like celebrities, paying them for capturing villains and allowing them to use their status for lucrative side hustles. Stain believes that being a superhero with an asterisk isn't being a superhero at all. And this argument isn't all that crazy. And in fact, mirrors an idea that philosopher slash senior men's model Jacques Derrida dubbed unconditional hospitality. To Derrida, unconditional hospitality is a pure, unbounded kindness and generosity to others. A law without law, as he confusingly called it. To Derrida, true absolute hospitality cannot be imposed upon by rules, duties, or laws, whether they be legal, cultural, or even moral. Otherwise, it stops being unconditional. As one thinker put it, the law of hospitality is absolute in that it requires one to give all one has to another without asking any questions, imposing any restrictions, or requiring any compensation. If we apply Derrida's logic to My Hero Academia, the heroes are only acting out a conditional hospitality. <laughs> This is particularly the case with Ida, who is so wrapped up in his desire for revenge that he forgets what it means to be a hero, putting others first. 
When Ida stumbles upon Stain attacking Native, Ida isn't really coming to the rescue. Instead, he's implicitly making Native's rescue contingent on him getting what he wants, killing Stain. And Stain, the perceptive slasher, tells it as it is. By the way, this fight scene was really awesome, probably one of the best of the season. And if you want to see it broken down by one of our friends, check out Jeff over at Mother's Basement. He just dropped a video analyzing all the things that make this fight scene incredible. So check him out in the link in the description, you won't regret it. Anyway, this all goes to show what makes Midoriya and All Might special, their unwavering adherence to unconditional hospitality. In fact, it's Midoriya's willingness to sacrifice himself for others, even without a quirk, that originally drew All Might to him. <laughs> And over the course of seasons 1 and 2, we see Midoriya putting himself on the line over and over again. Whether it's leaping into the fray against the League of Villains when All Might seems down for the count, or arriving last minute to save Ida from Stain. Hell, Midoriya can't even use one for all without essentially shattering the bones in his body, but that's never stopped him. Of course, Stain recognizes this trait in Midoriya, initially sparing him. <laughs> But Midoriya is only a pale comparison of what Stain really wants, to fight the symbol of peace himself. After Stain saves Midoriya from being abducted, he declares, that's right, Stain, motivated to make a more just society, will only let himself be brought down by a true hero, the embodiment of unconditional hospitality, All Might. Now, Stain isn't the main villain of My Hero Academia, but his impact is really felt in the season's concluding episode. What starts as a day off for Midoriya and his classmates ends with Midoriya being briefly held captive by Shigaraki. Now Shigaraki is royally pissed at Stain for scorning him and drawing so much attention. What Shigaraki can't see is how he's different than Stain, but as Midoriya explains, Stain stands for something. Now to end this, we're going to invoke a little more Becker here. Remember those cultural hero systems in society? He said they were all based on the denial of death. The reason why we strive to get a raise, fall in love, or even start a family is because, even if we're only side characters and NPCs, we're desperately trying to feel special in our little corner of the universe and be remembered. To Becker though, society would crumble if we ever realized how little our deaths actually mean to the unfeeling universe. As such, we have to desperately protect these fragile artificial hero systems that make up society. This issue of confronting death becomes even more pronounced in the world of My Hero Academia, where your everyday citizen's mortality is constantly put on display. When supervillains can appear and kill hundreds in an instant, how does your average person go about living their life? Just as in our lives, people can only create meaning by building up images of heroes and worshipping them, and specifically the symbol of peace himself, All Might. As Shigaraki releases Midoriya, he realizes he's been driven by an ideal all along destroying the symbol that gives society peace. <laughs> so what do you think, Wisecrack? What does it mean to be a hero? Are they really the glue that binds society together? Let us know by dropping a line in the comment section. And as always, peace. Want to rewatch My Hero Academia with a whole new outlook, or just check it out again before Season 3 comes out? Head on over to crunchyroll.com slash wisecrack, and while you're there, sign up for a free month of Crunchyroll Premium. 
Crunchyroll Premium is a great way to get unlimited access to tons of awesome anime. They've got hundreds of series for you to watch with access as soon as one hour after they air on TV in Japan. You can catch shows like Dragon Ball Super, Boruto, Food Wars, and my favorite, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, plus tons more. Whatever you're looking for, Crunchyroll is giving Wisecrack fans a free month of Crunchyroll Premium to watch all the anime you could possibly want, ad-free, and in glorious 1080p. Head on over to Crunchyroll.com slash Wisecrack to start your free trial and to check it out. Thanks to Crunchyroll for sponsoring this video. And we've got tons more videos planned for you, including ones on The Prestige, Evangelion, Archer, and tons more. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, catch y'all next time. Peace.